Hey everybody, this is John Pagano, Historical Interpretation Supervisor, Henricus Historical Park. Did you know that in the summer of 1613, Sir Thomas Dale is going to remove Pocahontas from her captivity at Jamestown to a more isolated and secure location upriver here at Henrico, what we call Henricus, the Henricus settlement to Reverend Alexander Whitaker's home, Rock Hall, which was across the James and isolated by hundreds of acres. So it took Pocahontas out of the fort, a crowded fort at Jamestown, and gave her some security. And also for Sir Thomas Dale, who wanted to kind of lead this idea of bringing Pocahontas a Christian education, bring her under his control and to his own reverend, Reverend Alexander Whitaker. So here in Rock Hall, uh, Pocahontas would have been put through all the stressors of becoming essentially an English woman. Uh, physical stressors, emotional stressors, intellectual stressors. So if you really think about some of the details, uh, she's going to have to switch to being an English woman, putting on English clothing. She's going to have to learn a horn book so that she has a, a written language, and in this case English, so she could read the Bible that's so essential to Reverend Whitaker's work on the idea of Christian conversion. Between wearing dresses, a coif on her head, shoes, stockings, obvious things, she's going to have to learn just about everything from anew, from life as a Powhatan Indian to life as an English woman. And it's going to have to happen quick. While this is all going on, she's essentially a captive. Not that Sir Thomas Dale or Reverend Whitaker has any plans or intentions on hurting her, but they have to get back with her father Powhatan on what's to become of Pocahontas's fate. And in the end, it will be a Christian conversion, baptism, the name Rebecca, and in April 1614, a marriage to John Rolfe.